Hello React Native Developers, I hope you are well. William here recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. In the last video, we've learned how to build an Angular gradient such as this one using an OpenGL shader. And that was a lot of fun. I think OpenGL shaders are a tool that we now have in our toolbox and that we can use to enhance our React Native app. I think we can build some really exciting things with it. For this particular example, the angular gradation example, I would like to show you another technique which might be a little bit more practical and that's using a masked view. So there is this module called React Native Masked View which is uh, shipped by default with Expo. It works great on Android and iOS. The only caveat is that on Android you cannot animate the mask element but other if you don't need to animate the mask or the masked view you are fine but what this module does is that you have a masked view component and a mask mask element and whatever pixels is transparent in the mask element is going to become a transparent pixel in the children of the masked view so you see here you have some text which is non-transparent pixels and all the transparent pixels of the view are going to become transparent in these views which are have these uh, different colors and so this is what we're going to use to build on our angular gradient we're going to create an image which is an angular gradient that goes from black to transparent set it as a mask here we're going to have a view with our start or end uh, gradient color the background color of the mask view will be our uh, let's say end color so every transparent pixel will be transparent here so we will have the start color which is in the background of the mask view and every non-transparent pixel uh, will be using the color of the children which will be our start or end color so let's uh, let's have a look so here i'm going to copy this guy here so here we have our opengl shader and i'm going to create a new component from scratch and i'm going to import the mask must view and we know that we get the uh, sorry angular gradient props we get the ring so some data about the colors and the size of the ring as property i can get it from const constants import So we get the ring here and we're going to use, so we're going to create a view which is the size of the ring and set the background color to be the start of the gradient. So uh, we're going to have width is ring.size, height is ring.size, border radius is ring.size divided by two and background color is ring.start. and up looks good now we can set our masked view and we're gonna set a view here as a children with a flex of one we probably need to, to set some border radius as well and the background color is going to be the end color and here we just need to actually do the same have a flex of one background color transparent and we can pass mask element as parameter so let's create our mask which is an image so we need actually to build this image so here you see we have our uh, angular gradient and I'm gonna edit it to go from um, transparent to black. Okay, uh, and I have, okay, perfect. Can export it. So this is what we're going to use for the mask. So source 
is uh, require mask.png and we can add some style for android we also need to so we're gonna with eight and we also need the border range as 400 and we also need actually important to set the background color as transparent let's have a look and here it is so same uh angular gradient than previously but done in a way that might be a, a little bit less overkill than using an OpenGL shader. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to use this technique next week in an exciting episode of Can It Be Done in React Native. I'm looking forward to talk to you soon. And in the meantime, happy hacking, of course. But if you are looking to learn the fundamentals of gestures and animations in React Native, I recommend you check out my online course at startreactnative.dev. My goal with this course is to provide you with all the tools and knowledge necessary in order to build incredible user experiences in React Native. So I'm looking forward to talk to you soon.